welcome to Pirate News. I'm Skylar White. And I'm Ariane DeMarco. In today's newscast, we will be discussing the holiday season, the women's basketball team, and your five-day forecast. Seton Hall's main page, also known as our gateway, is getting an upgrade, kicking off a full revue design project for the university. This is the first major visual change to our homepage since 2005. Check out the Seton Hall website next week for the new look. The Office of International Programs and the Center of Multiculturalism and Civic Engagement is pleased to announce their first meet and greet with international students. Come join and meet students worldwide and discuss topics that are important to you. This event is taking place Wednesday, December 5th at 5.30 p.m. at the University Center. Did you miss the Christmas tree lighting at the hall? Well, no worries. The new shoe website has integrated its first basic Instagram hashtag feed to one of their common spot pages to spotlight what you missed. The community shares great content on Instagram, and they want to highlight Seton Hall's events through the eyes of our students and alumni. Follow Seton Hall at Instagram.com backslash Seton Hall, and be sure to tag yourself in your own photos with hashtag Seton Hall for everyone to see. Do you have an upcoming interview and you're not quite sure what to do? This Wednesday, December 5th, come to an interview skills workshop to learn and practice skills that will help you ace your interviews. This event is taking place from 11.30 to 12.30 p.m., room 209, Bailey Hall. Registration is required, so you can sign up at the Seton Hall website or call the Career Center at 973-761-9355. And now we'll head over to Vincent and we're today's sports. Vincent? Thanks, Skylar. Hey there, Pirates fans. It's Vincent Coughlin here with the latest in Seton Hall sports. The men's basketball team traveled to Baton Rouge last Thursday to face LSU in the SEC Big East Challenge. The Pirates looked good in the first half, going into halftime up by 8 points. Unfortunately, the Pirates did not fare so well in the second half, being outscored 45-32 to with 26 turnovers. The Pirates lost the game by a score of 72-67. to the women's basketball team took the court on Sunday against the 24th ranked Gamecocks of South Carolina. Brittany Morris led the Pirates with 10 points and kept the Pirates in the game. They trailed by just two points at halftime, but couldn't keep the Gamecocks from proving their national ranking as the Pirates fell 55-42. to Both the men's and women's team will travel to Wake Forest on Saturday for a Seton Hall doubleheader. The, the men's team will look to improve their 6-2 record and gain a key victory on their out-of-conference schedule, and the women will look to better their 3-5 and five record and try and gain some momentum heading into Big East play. And that's all for Pirate Sports. I'm Vincent Coughlin. Now back to Skylar and Ariane with more of the news that you need to know. Thanks, Vincent. Seton Hall Theater will be presenting Lillian Hellman's classic tale, The Children's Hour, an adult play about two women who run a school for girls. The play will premiere this Thursday, December 6th at 8 p.m. and will continue through Friday and Saturday at the same time. The final sh showing will be on Sunday, December 9th at 2 o'clock p.m. Tickets are $15 for general, $10 for senior and alumni, and $5 for students. The play will be taking place at the University Center. Seton Hall is now putting together receptions for all basketball road games this season. All alumni, students, and fans are now welcome to cheer on the Pirate around the country. Please contact Carrie Clark and Alumni Relations at 973-378-321 or email Clark at shu.edu to learn more information. And now we'll head over to Nicole with your five-day forecast. Nicole? Thanks, Ariane, and hello, Pirates. This is Nicole Slarenson here to give you your five-day forecast. Looks like we're going to have a cloudy but warm week coming up. Today we'll start with cloudy skies with a high of 58, and it will start to clear slightly towards the end of the day. Later in the evening, there's a 40% chance of rain with a low of 50. Wednesday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 53 and a low of 32. And Thursday will be partly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 33. Friday will be sunny by the afternoon with a high of 45 and a low of 37. The weekend will be very rainy with a high of 46 and a low of 38 on Saturday. And then there will be a high of 45 and a low of 36 on Sunday. Have a great week and stay dry this weekend, Seton Hall. This has been your five-day forecast. I'm Nicole Swarrington. Now back to Skylar and Ariane with your upcoming events. Thanks, Nicole. The annual Student Activities Board Winter Bowl is just around the corner with the theme being Fire and Ice. 
The formal, held on Thursday, December 8th from 8 to midnight at the Atrium in West Orange, will be filled with food, friends, and hours of dancing. Tickets are being sold individually or as a table, and transportation will be available with the purchase of a bus pass. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority is having its 6th annual Crimson and Cream Christmas Holiday Toy Drive event. Each year, different student organizations come together and serve our community by donating gifts to children who are less fortunate. There will be lots of activities, games, and each child has the opportunity to take a picture with Santa Claus. The event will take place on December 2nd from 12 to 4 p.m. in the main lounge of the University Center. The Division of Volunteer Efforts, also known as Dove, will be hosting a toy wrapping party on Friday, December 7th from 11 to 1 p.m. All the toys that were collected during the toy drive will be wrapped and sent to children in need to give them a very special Christmas. This event is taking place at the Campus Ministry Lounge, Bolin Hall, lower level. The Alpha Boys School and Orphanage in Jamaica needs your help. During spring break, from March 2nd to the 9th, the College of Arts and Sciences will be hosting a trip to Jamaica. Activities include teaching young boys what you already know, reading, writing, arithmetic, working to enhance facility, and developing, executing social activities in the evening. The total cost of the trip is approximately $1,300 and is subject to change. Please fill out the application in room 130 in Fahey Hall between 8.45 a.m. and 4.45 p.m. by December 12th. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Ariane DeMarco. And I'm Skylar White. Thank you for watching Pirate News and have a great day.